It's important for students to know up front what's going to be expected of them, not only with the course material, but um, any type of technology or tools that they're going to be expected to interact with. They're going to need to know ahead of time what are these tools and what do I need as far as software or hardware um, to be able to fully engage with those tools. Um, students uh, need that kind of heads up, I guess, so that they can prepare themselves the best way that they can. Um, you don't want technology to ever be a roadblock in a course, especially an online course where technology is really you know, the medium um, for the course. You don't want any, any element of technology to be a roadblock. So I guess some examples that I think of off the top of my head have to do with using, like the use of a webcam. So whether that's using um, software where you're having a synchronous meeting with students using something like Skype or Zoom or Google Hangouts or an asynchronous activity which would use video uh, like VoiceThread. Um, the student's going to need to know, you know, what, again, what kind of hardware they're going to need as far as a webcam. So what we've done um, at MCC is we've uh, instructed or we've kind of laid out what they'll, what they'll need to be ready to, to do these activities. Um, so as far as what type of webcam is going to work, where you could go to purchase a webcam if you don't have one. And then we also offer opportunities within the course for the students to try out this technology before they're expected to really participate in a way where they might be assessed. There's a balance between being thorough um, and being overcomplicated. I think you can find yourself somewhere in the middle. Um, you don't want students to feel overwhelmed. Like, what, you know, what are these things that I'm going to have to learn um, to, to complete this course? A potential pitfall for um, outlining the, the technology needs for the course could be if you're, if you're being a little bit overcomplicated, I think it's good to give students um, clear directions on what they're going to need to do, but not to overwhelm them at the same time. Um, so a potential pitfall would also be not introducing that to them right off the bat. So you want to make sure that uh, you're not waiting till the last minute uh, to introduce a new technology.